complex is finished, there will be 20,000 people employed in this area. And we'll be invigorating this area, we'll bring it alive again. It really is going to be very exciting. Down below, the river Lee flows into the Thames on its northern bank. After rising the Oh, we're home the Lee. The Lee Valley has a rich history of engineering innovation. With more industrial achievements with small geographical size than anywhere else in the world. Think the history of this area, of course, has been about entrepreneurs and innovators. It was entrepreneurs who built the world class. The Lower Lee Valley is where Michael Faraday did his electric experiments. And just across the way here is where Brunel built the biggest ship in the world, the Great Eastern. This place, of course, for a hundred years, will be the whole of this country. London's Lee Valley by George Hodgson. So we've got a lot to thank the Lee Valley for. Next to the Emirates Airline Terminal is the Crystal, a building owned and operated by Siemens that was designed to be one of the greenest in the world. The Crystal showcases sustainable development and contains the world's largest permanent exhibition of its kind. We are in one of the most sustainable buildings in the world. It demonstrates innovative technologies to do with generating energy by solar and ground source heat pumps. Even the water of the toilets is being recycled. This exhibition showcases existing technologies and innovation and also stimulates discovery. It tries to make people imagine how their city might look by the middle of the century. Thank you for flying the Emirates Airline. Exit here for the XO Exhibition Centre, Crystal, for all the tour of the and dealer. Whistler, return, and seek the ticket holders. Exit here, and exit to the left. Yeah. yeah. 